Hello Goofy Goobers, how are you doing today? Hope today is going well. So in less than a week, I'm going to Paris for my 23rd birthday. The fact that I'm turning 23 does make me feel sick to my stomach. Uh, but we're not gonna think about that, we're just gonna think about Paris. But I haven't properly planned my outfits. I've got a few little bits and bobs of items that I know I definitely wanna wear there. Um, but there's some bits that I still need to buy and I just need to like piece everything together and I thought it would be a fun vlog if I brought you along so we're gonna do some shopping today but before that I do have a doctor's appointment I need to leave my house in 15 minutes I don't know if I've spoken about this on YouTube but I definitely have on TikTok but basically um a few months ago I had got this like pain in my right boob it was like a stone um but they said it was benign and they said it was fibroedemia they didn't make it a big deal they were just like yeah you have fibroedemia like just gonna have to deal with it basically but i was like yeah but i get pain and they kind of just disregarded me i'm not gonna lie um and off i went and then that was that but the pain has still been ongoing and it's got really bad recently like i breathe in and like this whole area hurts like it's so tight and like i can't even touch my boobs like they're so sore and i'm not about to even be on my period because normally when i'm about to be on my period they do get a bit tender but this is like next level it kind of feels like they're bruised um so i'm gonna go to the doctors today really fun i'm not gonna lie i do feel a bit anxious about it because i hate people touching my boobs like i can't even touch my own nipples like you know how people are weird about touching belly buttons i hate people touching my belly button i can't touch my belly button but it's the same vibe with my nipples that like, i can't it just feels so gross and weird so yeah, we're gonna do that and then we're gonna go shopping after and maybe get myself a coffee because I deserve it. I've just got on this cute little cardigan from Primark. It was eight pounds. I think I showed this in my last vlog. And then I think I'm gonna wear this coat today. I completely forgot I had it. Super Dry gifted it to me. And it's actually so cute. Like I need to get some new jeans because these do not fit me properly and I have to keep pulling them up like, ew. Oh, what have I got on me? It kind of goes with my little heart bag i literally use this bag every single day it's honestly amazing it's like a big satchel it kind of reminds me of you know like bedtime stories you would um read as a kid this bag reminds me of like when the fox would get a stick and then carry it you know like like when they're like off on an adventure that's what this bag reminds me of but anyway <laughs> guys so it's a lot later in the day now it's like four o'clock i think and my sister Toluda is in the living room right now because she decided to come and see me wow i'm actually loved but before the sun goes down i thought i'd show you what i got in town yeah so i went to the doctors and I'm not gonna lie i did have a breakdown in the doctor's room because i just felt like basically when i last got my boobs checked like the guy that checked them he was just like really kind of cold and mean and normally with the thing i have it's not called fibroedema it's called fibroedemia i can't i don't know how to pronounce it but it's basically like a benign lump in your boob um and they're meant to like give you advice on like how to deal with the pain and he just kind of disregarded me and like made me feel silly so then when this woman asked me how the last uh, appointment went I just started crying I was just like look like I feel really like helpless because I've got this pain but basically last time they told me to just suck it up and like didn't tell me what I could do to help the pain um, but she gave me some advice and she told me to get primrose oil which where is it 18 pounds this was in Holland and Barrett but apparently you're meant to rub it on your boob at night time so, so I'm gonna try that but yeah let's start with Primark I got, I was meant to just be doing Paris shopping, but look how gigantic, look how gigantic this looks and it's 14 pounds. And I just love blue at the moment and I feel like it will look so cute on my bed, especially with this duvet set. This is from Primark as well. And then I got this bag for Paris cause it's just really small. So I'll be able to pack it really easily. And I've got this pink fluffy, crazy coat that I wanna wear. And the top that I'm wearing with it is white. So I feel like this will go nicely together nine pounds then i got some really sheer tights because with my birthday outfit i wanted some sheer tights to wear with my knee-high boots so i got these these were six pounds and they're the luxury ones then i got a cute little purse which was four pounds oh there's feral and then i got exfoliating gloves to get this crusty fake tan off 
and that's everything from Primark. And then from H&M, you can't go wrong with a long sleeve cream uh, top. So I got this and this was £10. And then I've got a black night outfit for the last night, but I didn't have a bag to go with it. And I feel like this is just so cute. I got this from H&M and this was £21. And then from Mango, there was honestly so many cute bits. There were these sunglasses that were £21 and I feel like I could find them somewhere cheaper. So I didn't get them, but I did film me wearing them, I think. Uh, but I had to pick this up because I tried it on in the changing room. And this was £16. And leopard print is really in at the moment. And I just thought this could be a Paris outfit. Like, I feel like I could style this really nicely and it fits so well. And even though it's sheer, it wasn't actually showing my bra that much, but I'm thinking I'd wear like a black lace uh, bralette underneath. And then I didn't need these, but I just got them because I don't have any cream trousers. And these are corduroy ones and they were on sale. They were 46 pounds down to 22 pounds. Uh, and they were just quite slay. But yeah, right now, me and Pookie, we're going to go, um, well, I need to do some laundry. So originally I was going to go to the laundrette and then uh, Tallulah called me, but we're still going to do it. Tallulah's really good at decluttering and helping me like get rid of stuff because I'm such a hoarder and because I'm going to stay in this flat, like I don't know if you guys know, but on my last vlog I was saying that I want to move out. Well, I'm not moving out, but I'm going to try sort this flat out to the best I can and declutter and just make it a lot more nicer to live in. Um, and Tallulah's really good at helping me get rid of stuff because I'm like, I hold on to the most random things and like the amount of shit I have under my bed that I never, I never touch. But then as soon as I open it and I try to get rid of it, I'm like, no, oh, no, I need that, I need that. But I've never needed it in my life. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go to the laundrette, get some coffee and then come back and clean. And then um, Tallulah's gonna help me plan my outfits as well, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, queen. Okay guys, so we're trying on outfits. And I obviously, I bought this top today, I wanted to try style it. I've styled it with this skirt from Zara, and I've also got leopard print tights on, which Tallulah is rinsing me for. And originally, I did have my little uh, red um, Mary Janes on, but they're just not flattering on my legs at all. I feel like I should have got the heeled ones, because the flat ones are just giving me nothing, and I've got quite stubby legs. Baggy, and I don't want to hear me say, to you. Guys, these are really not flattering on my legs, but I might get some that have heels so then they look a bit nicer. I feel like, yeah, if the leather jacket wasn't as oversized and it was like here, yeah, that would look cool. Hi, Goofy Goobers. So it's the next day now, and my sister has left. We had a little sleepover and while I was trying on my outfits, uh, my camera died. So it's the next day now and we're gonna start off fresh. Last night I made a list on my phone of the four outfits I wanna bring with me. So we're gonna try them on now and let's hope that they look good. Also guys, if I look a bit weird and crusty, basically I tried the fake tan stick that I bought from the TikTok shop yesterday and I put it on while I had a pimple patch on. And if that isn't the dumbest thing in the world, I don't know what is. So now I just have this ringworm looking ass circle on my head. I mean, here, it, like I don't have any bronzer on right now. That is just fake tan. So it did actually kind of work. I'm just feeling really crusty and gross today. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I can't stop crying. Like, and I don't know why. It's either I'm about to start my period and that is low-key sad because I'm going to Paris on Thursday for my birthday. Really don't want to be on my period for that. And if I break out, I'm gonna... <coughs> please, please, Lord. Please do not let me have period skin on my birthday, please. Yeah, I just have this weird pit of sadness in my body. And I don't know what exactly it is, but the past few weeks, I just randomly get so sad and I just start crying and I can't pinpoint it and then I think to myself why the fuck are you sad like there is nothing in your life to be sad about you're so blessed and then I don't know is this depression I don't, <laughs> I don't fucking know just eating some dark chocolate okay so starting off with my birthday date outfit I want to style this coat because 
I just feel like it's so fun and girly and cool and it's giving birthday. And then this is the top that I'm going to wear underneath it. I'm not going to put it on right now though, just because I really do not want to risk getting makeup on here. And then for jeans, I've got these lighter coloured ones um, that I think would go quite well with it. And then on ASOS they also brought out a white bag of the Red Heart. Um, so I got the white one as well because I feel like that would look really cute as an outfit together. So these are the jeans. Super cute. These jeans honestly fit perfectly. And then I've just put on this random white top so we can see what it looks like kind of without having to put the butterfly one on. What I could do the night before is heat this curls and then have curly hair. Or I could put like a white headband on to match the white hair. And then for shoes, my friend Melissa is gonna let me borrow hers. They're literally this, but the opposite way. So hers are pink and then have the navy stripe. But if her shoes do not fit me at all, I'm just gonna wear these because I feel like this looks cool together. Imagine this white. I think it's actually proper cute. The white one's gonna arrive tomorrow. The shoes are cute, but I definitely hope that my friend's shoes fit me. But if they don't, these will have to do. So this is gonna be my birthday night outfit because we're going for a really nice dinner, but then we're going clubbing straight after. So I want my outfit to be like clubbing, but also like uh, classy enough to get into the restaurant, do you know what I mean? And this is what it looks like without, oh, no, 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 no. Pulse. Don't want it, it nearly fell off. So this is what it looks like off. So this will be nice in the restaurant, I think. And it's also nice like in the club, like the jacket is only just to keep me warm uh, to get from A to B. But I think I'm going to buy a smaller leather jacket because I like the oversized look, but that is just like oversized to another level. Um, I'm also going to borrow my friend Melissa's red bag because this one's cute, but it's not like, it's not as glam as I want it to be. Um, and hers is a lot nicer. Uh, but yeah, what do you guys think? I did try on... Um, I did try on this skirt with it and I liked it but I prefer the shape of this one more because it's a bit more like frilly um I don't actually like too much attention on myself like I feel like this is cute but like not too in your face you know what I mean also excuse this I won't be wearing that uh with this outfit but this is from Revolve if anyone is wondering this is from Opoly and these are from H&M this is from Miss Selfridge on ASOS okay guys this is the next outfit we have on the cards this skirt is very long but I feel like this is really cool um I've paired it with a red um handbag here because I just feel like red and black is so Paris I have got heels on and the skirt is low-key touching the floor, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like it's really cool. I feel like this is perfect for the second night for like cocktails. However, I don't, I have no idea what coat I would wear with this, like genuinely. Like that is just, like I feel like I need a fitted, uh, I need a fitted jacket, but I just don't own any fitted jacket. It's like, all my stuff is low-key oversized because that looks cool. If I had a leather jacket that actually fit, this could be a vibe. <laughs> what was that? This could be a vibe. Here's a little close up. Got a little bling bling going on. Guys, I forgot I had this leather jacket also from H&M, but it's too big. But the the length of it is honestly perfect. Like I feel like this is so cool together. Um, so I might buy this in a smaller size. Okay guys, next outfit. It's not done yet because I basically, I ordered some heels off ASOS. Um, so I'm waiting for them to arrive. They're just little like black ones. I have this jacket again, but my sister was literally rinsing me with all of this together. She said it didn't work. Ah, I don't know, I don't know. Okay guys, it's got a bit dark in my room because I'm not gonna lie to you. I put on this outfit and then I just got really upset because <sighs> my sister was rinsing me the other day wearing this. But I really want to wear it because I love the idea of it. I'm just not confident in my legs and these shoes really are not flattering. However, I'm going to wear them because I want to be a fashion girly. So I'm wearing the little pepper steppers. That's what I like to call them. And I've just bought some leg warmers on ASOS. Uh, so maybe that will make my leg look a bit nicer. I don't freaking know. But uh, yes. Also, I just ordered a leather jacket on ASOS as well, but 
Why do I never wear headbands? Like they're actually so cute. And this matches perfectly with my corset. Anyway, I just think this outfit is so cute. So this is from Zara. This is from ASOS. Zara, no idea where these are from. Maybe Cider uh, Office. And this is just from H&M. And I'm ready for Paris. Guys, I can't believe I'm 2023. Like that actually makes me feel sick. <laughs> Two years ago, I turned 21 in Paris, and that vlog is actually on my YouTube. So if you could, if so, if you want to go watch that, you can. I look so different. Like I'm not gonna lie, I really thought 21 was like the year you're meant to like look your best, but I did not look my best at 21. And I feel like it's actually kind of nice knowing like my peak isn't over because I'm 20 I'm gonna be 23 and I feel like I look way better than I did in 21 when I turned 21 that was a rough year like I dyed my hair ginger I wasn't eating healthily I was just a hot mess um and I know I shouldn't talk about myself like that but it's true so my outfits are sorted but I still need to get my nails done I'm going to London to get my nails done tomorrow because I'm actually working with a nail brand um so I actually get to get my nails done for free which is lovely um so I'm gonna get a cute little shellac but right now my bed is a tip but I feel like I need to get out of the house because I have not left the house today <music>